Well, a thief broke into a Roanoke tree trimming business this week and stole a very heavy getaway vehicle. It has since been located, but 10 News reporter Taj Simmons tells us how a quick thinking stranger helped solve the mystery. It's big work to cut down trees, and that requires some big machinery. Carrie Poff says this wood storage truck and this wood chipper are essential to her own business, Brown Hound Tree Service. This newer truck we've recently acquired and it meant a lot to us on a personal level. It's all worth more than $50,000, but someone else wanted it for free. A burglar climbed over this fence Tuesday night, then smashed through it with the truck and the wood chipper. It's absolutely not okay. You know, we're a hardworking family owned business. Um, regardless of the size of your company, you've put blood, sweat and tears into it. Paul spent the day after the theft pleading for the return of the truck through social media, but a life changing call came from an unexpected place. Manita that vehicle was stolen and I said, oh, I said I didn't know that I Debbie Robbins saw the truck stuck in the mud near her home Wednesday morning and figured it was a crew at work when it was still there. Seven hours later, she called the big phone number on the side of the truck. People were crossing the center line getting around the back end of the equipment and I thought, well, this has got to stop. Hopefully this owner will come and move this. It's a long way from Pop's office, but she's somewhat surprised it wasn't even further away. We figured it was probably in West Virginia or Kentucky with the VIN numbers scratched off and a new coat of paint. The truck does have damage inside and out while the stolen truck is back on the lot. These arborists are able to trim trees once again. It's not OK for someone to try to steal that from us in Roanoke. Taj Simmons. 10 News working for you. Roanoke police are still searching for a suspect in that burglary.